Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Martinez's poise is one of those things that cannot be denied. This is a very confident fighter. He's showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. No, well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is 10 round. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Wow, nice flush left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had Come someone on. hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Up top with the right hand. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Keep working the box. The next generation's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Big puncher here in front of us, going up against the guy who can do a little bit of everything. A boxer, puncher, well-skilled, good athlete, well-conditioned. Yeah, the big punch, I think is going to be in trouble, especially as the fight goes late. He's going to get more and more desperate, and he's going to look for that one bomb. And usually when you know it's coming, you're going to avoid it. That's a good left hand by Martinez. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punch. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Not able to land the headshot. Comes with the right. Right to the body. How about that left hand? Able to land with the right. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. And he ties up on the inside. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. You see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Get in there. Martinez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. The next generation's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. 
round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas on another night at the fights. We're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Bobby, Mike, all you guys, Brian, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Able to cover up that gut. So accurate jab, uppercut combination. Solid left hand to the head. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Well-placed hook there. A well-targeted jab that time. Go, go! Well-targeted left hand by Mark. There it is! Hits him right on the spot. Martinez is still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you gotta do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't wanna go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Halfway through this round. Oh. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. To the head he goes with a left hand. Martinez is ripped by an uppercut. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Non-stop energy from both guys. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. Reminds you of this song, I can do anything you can do, only better. Fires right back at him. And now he's targeting upstairs. He needs to improve that act. Martinez is rocked by that punch. The next generation's trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. You can't block two, three, four, five, six shots at a time. They get through. Able to show you his blocking ability. A very fan-friendly round, but a headache for the judges. How do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other? Well, this is where you have to be a good judge. You have to be a professional judge. You have to use the information that's there. Who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other? And who hurt the other guy a little more? Throw. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into it without throwing a punch. Where's your body? Hit the body! New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport and a profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion. We hope. But it's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay the next round. Gets rid of that body shot. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. 
And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Keep moving, keep moving. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Martinez's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Hey, 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 let's go! Coming to the halfway point of this third round. with a left hand. He missed with that headshot. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. And now he's targeting upstairs. The next generation's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Watch that! Able to dismiss that body shot. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. Big shot. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That's it. The fight is over. Martinez is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.